big news in the Western Conference today. Woj, you reported that Clippers star Kawhi Leonard, he has agreed to a three-year, $153 million extension to stay with the team through 2027. So he's been eligible, Woj, to sign this since last July. So why did it happen now, and what effect does it have on both Paul George and James Harden here? Uh, look, it happens now because this has been a negotiation, and it went on with Kawhi Leonard. It's going on with Paul George, and then it'll happen with James Harden after the season. But this is a Clipper team that was facing the possibility of their three best players in free agency this summer. Now they get Kawhi Leonard locked up at a deal below the max number, which is what the Clippers wanted. With this new salary cap, the Clippers don't believe that they could put a championship supporting cast around Leonard, Paul George, Harden, unless those players are taking less money. Harden has taken, or uh, Kawhi has taken less now than the Max. And the negotiation now continues with Paul George. But huge for the Clippers to get the first part of that done. And now they'll continue talks with Paul George to see if they can get this group locked up going into their new arena next year. Stephen A., when you look at this and you look at the construction of the Clippers, <laughs> you already have a little eye roll. What's going on? Because I'm not excited. It's obvious the right, obviously the right thing for the Clippers to do. There's no question about that. This is a superstar caliber player. We all know what he brings to the table when he's on the court healthy. The problem is it's always a question mark as to mm. whether or not he's going to be on the court healthy. And don't get me started at what he doesn't do to market his team, to market the sport. Okay, does nothing. Even when he's doing a commercial, the kids are talking and not him. And this is his own damn commercial. This is who he is. But we all know he's a phenomenal, phenomenal basketball player. And considering the Clippers situation to get him locked up and to have two other players you have to deal with, it was the right move to make. I can't poo-poo this at all. We know what a superstar Kawhi Leonard is. I'm not blind. They did the right thing. He has played in 89% of their games, at least thus this far year. this Only season. This, this, this year. Season. Mm -hmm. Yes, this absolutely. You, you hope you can play. Look, look, there, there's many careers that have been lo ended, lost, abbreviated by, by serious leg injuries. And so you just hope Kawhi Leonard is not one of those. I, I think about a player who wound up changing teams relatively late in his career. It wasn't long enough for Marty Stoudemire. And he wasn't as good as Kawhi, but he was a great player, and those knee injuries cost him. And it's very real. This is not load management we're talking about. We're talking about Kawhi, and Kawhi Leonard having knee issues, even back to when he was dragging that knee around during the playoffs with Toronto. So you hope he can be healthy enough. You hope that in these subsequent years, he's playing more games now, as you mentioned, Malika, they are opening a new arena. I mean, there's pragmatic stuff. You can't open an arena in Los Angeles <laughs> without some, some gate, without some attraction. Right. And though he does, as Stephen A. mentions, very little to market it, his marketing is his game. His yeah. marketing is if he's healthy about. out there. I would not care. If he if if, if he just playing, played, right. but but nothing else. Absolutely. My problem is he misses the game anyway. He can be it. Toronto right. Kawhi Leonard. Guess what? The Clippers will be very happy. But he's playing more games in the regular season than Toronto Kawhi Leonard was, and we're seeing his most efficient output since then, Perk. Yeah, absolutely. But he set the tone. He set the tone for the organization, and for the first time, we all could say Kawhi Leonard is committed, right? He set the tone. So now, what is Paul George going to do? Because I'm hearing Paul George want the max. Are the Clippers going to give him the max? I don't believe so. Can they reach common ground? But, Woj, I'm hearing that, you know, Paul George could be uh, returning back to the Indiana Pacers. I don't know if it's a leveraging thing or not. I don't know if he will, will you know, leverage that to, to get the max money. But I know that's what he wants. So, so what Kawhi is saying is, who is willing to make the sacrifice to hold this together to win an NBA title or try to win the NBA title. There are some attractive teams who Paul George fits right into in free agency. Indiana with Tyrese Halliburton, potentially. Philadelphia mm -hmm. with uh, Joel Embiid, Tyrese, Max, Tyrese Maxey. But he's going to have to take less than the max to stay in L.A. Mm. Uh, Kawhi Leonard did. It is a negotiation. Yep. The negotiation will continue. But this is home for Paul George. This group, they're finally getting to see... What this can look like, Harden has fit in perfectly. It is a negotiation. It's going to continue. Well, damn it. Somebody got to say it, so I'm going to say it. No Paul George. It can't be about the backs right now. Kawhi Leonard 
had an opportunity. Remember, you had the Lakers interested in it when Magic Johnson was still there and what have you. We all know he held the Clippers hostage. I want Paul George. What do they do? They give up the farm to get Kawhi Leonard to come to the Los Angeles mm -hmm. Clippers, and they got Paul George away from Oklahoma City. The talent that is Paul George is max caliber talent. When this brother is on his own, I loved watching him going up against Devin Booker the other night when they had 35 and 33 respectively. But in the same breath, Paul George has missed his share of games as well. And at some point in time, Steve Ballmer and that Clippers organization has done a lot for those brothers. They have paid them. They have taken care of them. They've uh, coddled them. It's time They've to done be it all. selfish, it's, Stephen it's a, a, no, 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 When it's time uh, to get your letters. Time, get, I didn't selfish. say don't get his letters. But I didn't say don't get his letters. But damn, you can't give up a few dollars to make sure you stay in L.A. with your boys? I got to say, winning, Come on cures now. A, winning cures a whole lot of things. And yeah. if this, the trajectory of the Clippers season bit. continues to go the way that it is. But they're no, they're no further up the standings than Philadelphia. It is a new salary cap. If you want to win, you're going to have to take less in this new era.